Good morning, y'all, as the southerners would say. Good morning, y'all. Karen feels better today. Yeah, still sick, but... Still sick? <coughs> but better today. Um, she's getting better by the day. Uh, she's taking um, medicine and all that stuff. But anyway, we had breakfast today at home, some fruit, um, and just relax in the morning. some good whiskeys there, lots of bourbon and American whiskeys, but nothing that I wanted, so that's okay. We happen to be just on the strip, which two big ones are there anyway. Uh -huh. And um, we're going to, was it Puckett's? Puckett's Groceries and Restaurants. Right ahead. So, pure coincidence, it's right here. And Karen is still coughing, which I feel really bad about. What are you going to have? So that confused the shit out of everyone. Half and half. Ooh, half and half. My tea. Look at this, this is quite cool. It's like little bits of chili inside. I think I'm gonna order the meatloaf! Ma! Meatloaf! And I'm gonna order the meat and three, and I'm gonna have fried chicken. Cool. And I'm thinking mac and cheese. Decide. So I have meatloaf with beans and mashed potato. And what is this corn thing called? It's a Cajun corn cake. Corn cake? A Cajun corn cake? Yeah. But then we have mac and cheese. And Karen got herself some fried chicken. So I tried the mac and cheese. How is it? Yeah. Good? Good mac and cheese? Okay. So I've, I've been finding that mac and cheese have been hit and miss. Some of them you can taste the artificial cheese powder. This is quite good. Quite good? Good. Yeah. yeah. So I love mac and cheese, but I don't like that cheese powder taste. But and here's a fried chicken. How's a fried chicken? Good. Okay. So I'm going to try the meatloaf now. I'm impressed. Very nice. I haven't really had many meatloaves before and New Zealand is always like a meatloaf country. It's something that, that you more make at home rather than order in a restaurant. Yeah, well that tastes really good. And I don't know what's in there but I can taste liver in there. Which is my imagination but I can taste like a, a deep savoury umami meaty flavour. I think that's good. But anyway, so far all good. Hello everyone, so we went to, um, what is it called again? Pocket Grocery and Restaurant. Pocket Grocery and Restaurant, so you walk in there, it's not really a grocery, but it's kind of cool, it's awesome, nice character, um, and we seem to always do this, we get in there, we get seated, and then about 10 minutes later the whole place gets filled up and there's like a 40 minute yeah. wait. So it's, we're always lucky when it comes to that, I guess it's because we like to eat early. Um, I had the meatloaf, as you saw, and Karen had the... I had the meat and three veg, which 
Meat and three. With fried chicken. Um, I really liked it. Um, the chicken wasn't too oily, which was nice. Yeah, I liked the chicken's texture. Compared it wasn't oily. last night. Um, the chili sauce, uh, it, it lacked chili coating around it though, so we had to put our own well, sauce, but... it's not supposed to have a chili coating. Ah, uh, okay, there you go. It's, so just, it's just fried chicken, it's not Nashville fried chicken. Ah, uh, okay, there you go. But yeah. it was really good chicken. So it is exactly what they said it would be. So I just added a little bit of chili sauce to yeah. it, just to give it some extra flavor, which was nice. But I tell you what, the corn cakes, it's so good. I mean, I could eat that by itself. The corn cake was really good, and I think one of the highlights of the meal was actually the meatloaf. Yeah, it had a very nice gravy. It was so nice with the mashed potato. And the mushroom, um, the mushrooms. It was just, it, it just felt like a nice, like a home cooked meal. Yeah, it was really, um, really good. It, it was, was really not, good. It was not refined or anything like that. It was just hearty and delicious. Yeah, it and, was bloody um, good. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely like. This is a really nice place to eat when you've been traveling for a while because you can get a lot of vegetables um, and because it does have that home cooked feel yes, to it. Yes, that's right. And it's in the middle um, of the city as well. So we were walking around, we didn't even know where it was. We Googled it and we're like, oh, we've just gone past it. Um, and it's right in the middle of the city and it's really good. And you know what's cool about it? And obviously my Chinese jeans are going crazy. It was very reasonably priced. Yeah, so I think mine was like ten ninety nine. dollars 99 was yeah, so everything we had, including um, a bottle of water and a cup of tea, tea was 37 US dollars. Um, so we decided the, guy, the waiter was really good, so we decided to give him a $10 tip. Um, <coughs> so even then, it was still a $47 meal. Um, yeah. And I thought that was pretty good. I mean, we've, we've had more expensive meals that were nowhere near as good. So we highly recommend this place. Yeah, I highly true. recommend this place. It's got my... Check of approval. Stamp of approval like this. Like that. Okay. Now, Karen's gonna go home and have a little quick nap because she's still a sick ass. And I then, feel 100%. I'm, I'm struggling to breathe. Yeah, and I'm gonna go and drive to a cigar shop to see if there's any rare cigars for me to buy. Alright, see you guys soon. So Karen and I are going to Martin's Barbecue over there. And uh, Karen's been feeling a bit better. She had a long nap. It was a six hour nap. No, I was kidding. Yeah, it was good. There was um, a lot of Vicks, a lot of, uh, you know, um, antihistamines and all that. And, um, you know, like a two something hour nap. So Karen feels better. And then. I'm obviously not 100%, but. I feel so much better than yesterday, oh my word. There you go. So hopefully tomorrow I'm going to be like 100% better. Tomorrow's Karen's going to be partying up yeah. and shit. Yeah. So we're going to Martin's Barbecue. And then after that, we are going to find a bar slash cocktail bar slash whiskey bar in the main strip or off the main strip so we can walk around. Yeah, so actually we're going home and then... Yeah. Uh, cool. So we are back on the barbecue wagon. for 24 hours. And this is a, a corn hoe cake. A hoe cake. We don't know what that is. But so that looks like a cake for hoes that like okay. corn. So it's perfect yes. for me. Yeah, for like corn. And broccoli salad. Broccoli salad, which is highly China disturbing. Highly disturbing, one in greens. And has reds. Yeah, and I have, I have reds, look at that, reds. Okay, there we go. Yes. So we have finished eating at Martin's barbecue. It wasn't too bad. Um, my pulled pork was a little bit dry, and the ribs were pretty good. I thought, um, and I really liked the broccoli salad and the sides, mm, like the whole cake. 
I prefer the hash puppies over the whole cake, and he yeah. prefers the whole cake. The whole so cake, yeah. We swapped. Um, yeah, the no, ribs. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, the ribs. The ribs weren't bad. The ribs um, had the the dry sprinkle stuff on it. The the spice. Um, there was a lot on there, so I actually tapped them off, otherwise it would have been too salty, but that spice was quite nice. Um, and they attached the the baby back cartilage bits on them as well, so it had a lot of fat, and that was quite good, that section of it. So only the edges were dry and burnt, but that's pretty normal. Um, and then the sauce they had on the side, the dipping sauce for the ribs, that was also pretty good. Um, the Yeah, I did find the pulled pork quite dry. They said that they had belly, leg, and shoulder, but all I could see was leg, um, and leg without the combination of belly and shoulder is always going to be dry. Yeah, that's um, a little bit disappointing. Yeah. But, um, I think that's a risk with pulled pork, and I think maybe I probably won't order pulled pork again. Yeah. Because it's just such a risk. Yeah, it is such a risk. Just, yeah. I um, think um, brisket, I think we should have gone for the brisket. I know. Yeah, no, it's okay. I want to try it, but I mean, I mean the, the, on the menu it says whole hog. It sounds so cool, you know, it's a whole hog. Yeah. So it's like, okay, let's give it but a go. It's but not it's not cool. Unless you like dry, like some people actually do like dry, dry meat. Dry meat, yeah. So some insane yeah. people do like dry meat and that's fine. If you like lean dry meat, well that's fine. But we're not all insane, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, I would anyway. still give it a go though. Like they've got lots of other stuff on the menu that I would have loved to try as well. But obviously we only have one meal. Yeah. And yeah. And no, so yeah, I would, I would say still go check it out. I, I mm. don't know. I, yeah. Yeah. And get the broccoli salad if you have a side. It's so young.
both of us got super duper tired and then decided to come home. I'm still sick, so I really just want to go to bed early and well, 10 30. Um, I'll probably have a bath and then go to bed. Um, yeah, so we had a really good day today. I was happy that I was able to nap. I'm starting to stop myself from coughing. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow I'll feel even better. Um, because I like to go shopping and there's a few other places I really want to check out around here. But yeah, we'll keep you updated tomorrow with what we are doing. Um, thanks for watching and good night!